Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag. This tag has been circulating during this time of year because it is the middle of the year and I know everybody has already said this, but I'm going to say it. It's crazy that it's already halfway through the year. Like how and when? I just feel like this is so crazy. This is actually my first time doing this tag, so I'm really, really excited because I want to be able to look back at this tag and see like how different everything is. Yeah, it's kind of like a check-in just to see where you are and your progress of reading so far. I do want to say I haven't gotten a lot of reading done. I do feel like I've gotten, you know, like consistent, but it hasn't been a lot as much as I would like to. So I'm hoping I can read a little bit more for the rest of the remaining of the year, but this is just like a nice check-in to like see where you're at and to see your progress. Also, again, I'm always gonna say this in every single time, but if you hear my chair, it's, yeah. I'm on the little swivelly squeaky chair, so just a heads up. I am excited to dive into this video and I'm gonna be reading the questions off of my phone. So without further ado, let's get started into this video. Okay, so the first question says, the best book you've read so far in 2023? Mm, so the best book I've read so far, um, I have to say, in terms of my favorite books I've read so far, it's going to be two, and it would be The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, and I know it's going to be like, oh wow, everybody says that, but I do, I really do like that book a lot, and this is my first time actually reading Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, and I have to say, I absolutely adore that book. It was one of my most one of my most favorite romance books even though it's not this like cheesy corny sweet endearing romance book i mean there's parts of it where it is but you know it's one of those like heavier kind of deeper romance books but i definitely love that book and i would definitely say that's one of the top books i've read so far this year that and the cruel prince by holly black next question says best sequel have you read so far in 2023 and okay so i'm kind of ashamed to say this i have not read a sequel yet i'm in the middle of a sequel right now actually i have read a sequel so i read the selection series didn't really care for the second one as much but i'm currently reading another book that is a sequel and so far i'm liking it and it's again it's the wicked king by holly black's Folk of the Air series and so far I'm loving it but I'm only 16% so I don't know if I can really state that but yeah so far I would probably say that as my answer for now. Question number three, new release you haven't read but want to. So I really really want to read A Touch of Chaos by Scarlet St. Clair and it's her fourth book coming out within the series. The last book was A Giant Cliffhanger and I really stayed committed to the first three books. Like I let, I literally read them one after another. So this is like the start of a series that I kind of started when I was progressing in my reading journey and like pick reading back up again. And yeah, that one comes out September, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And I'm also looking forward to, I'm not for sure, but I think, I think Jennifer Lynn Barnes has her other book coming out after the final gambit. She has her other one coming out the remaining of the year so if it is coming out i'm looking forward for that one as well question number five says the biggest disappointment so my biggest disappointment <sighs> so i would have to say it starts with us by colleen hoover i just read that and i i don't know for some reason i was thinking it was going to be a lot more but i feel like i've could have, i've could have done without reading that book i just feel like nothing really happened i wasn't immersed into the world as much there was nothing intriguing about it it just was constant and i felt like it was a little bit monotone for my taste um but yeah i mean it was cool to see the characters again get like a little bit of bonus content but i do feel like that one wasn't really needed so i'd probably say that one was kind of a disappointing read just because i thought there was going to be so much more in that one question number six says the biggest surprise okay so my biggest surprise is going to be the selection series i knew about these books and i didn't really put much thought into it i didn't even really know what it was about i kind of just picked it up because i saw that in my library and i've heard about it forever but i've never actually read it and honestly i was really shocked at how much i really enjoyed the series and how much it fulfilled this like princess diaries feeling within my heart i just feel like it was so good also with the dystopian world so i really enjoyed it and i had so much fun with it i got really attached to the characters i've already went over this like a, in the, like the past couple of videos the selection was like my favorite one and the one 
but yeah i just felt like i was really shocked at how much i enjoyed it i didn't think i was gonna like it that much it was almost to me it was almost like the red queen but better i think this actually came way before the red queen but yeah i really like this series a lot it was so good question at number seven is favorite new author but i'm gonna say i don't have consistent other books that i've reached out to with these authors but the two that i kind of fell in love with their books that i want to read more of their books is holly black and for sure kennedy ryan i loved her writing style and i feel like I'm gonna like a lot of her other books so now when i see her name i'm gonna reach for those books because her writing style was just so relatable and so natural and genuine and yeah i just feel like hers was done really really nicely and i really enjoyed her writing style question number eight says newest fictional crush and i actually don't have like fictional crushes but i think i want to change up my question i know it's probably like against the rules but i don't have an answer for that one so i'm going to change up my question and put newest fictional best friend and the newest fictional best friend that i would want from the books i've read this year thus far would be would be kiki from six crimson cranes i just feel like she was so small and portable and she was so cute and sassy and really helpful at times as well so because she was so tiny she was able to remain hidden and i feel like she'd be like the perfect fictional best friend so that is who i'm gonna choose for question number eight question number nine says newest fictional character i would have to say okay so my newest fictional character favorite character i'm gonna say it's jude from the cruel prince series or the folk of the air series i really like her character i feel like she is tough has like a tough exterior she is actually really smart she doesn't make like decisions where it pisses me off or takes me off or anything and also she is really committed and really tough and strong i don't know how many times i'm gonna say tough but i just really liked her character i feel like she was able to portray like this really like you know like this really tactical and like smart committed character without being annoying or making decisions where it was based on emotions or based off of feelings but she was also the most realistic to where they didn't make the protagonist like a complete untouchable character to where she would still take hits she would still be imperfect but she would keep trying and stay committed and she's also really smart and sassy in a way so i think so far out of all the characters she's one of my favorites i would in, in terms of a boy character I felt like I really liked Maxon's character from the selection series, but to be honest, he kind of disappointed me in the elite. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, but I just liked how like childlike and innocent his character was in the beginning, and I really liked his character a lot because the way he was towards America was really endearing, and the way he also like tried to be play his role within the society was really interesting. But yeah, he just disappointed me, so I can't say him anymore. But if he continued to be a good character, then yeah, it would have been him. But as the series progressed, he kind of made me a little bit frustrated because I was like, oh, you were a good character. Yeah, I think that would be my favorite character. I like Jude. Also, her name is really cool. So question number 10, a book that made you cry. I feel like a lot of these questions, I'm like so lame at answering because I don't have like definite answers, but i did not cry in any book so far let me look back at actually and see Ooh, okay i didn't cry but i almost like had a little tearjerker moment on 11 other words when there's near the ending not really involved with the romance but something more of her personal life and that part there was like certain lines in it that like pulled on my heartstrings and almost made me cry i don't really cry in books though so that's the only thing but there was parts in it where it, it like really pulled on my emotions and almost made me cry. Question number 11, a book that made you happy. Also, I don't know if I said, but I'm reading all these questions off of my phone, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, a book that made me really happy. Hmm, I'm gonna look at my list real quick and see. So I don't know if this would really count, but this is the year I kind of started reaching out to like graphic novels and manga and stuff. So I would definitely say Heartstopper because this book was so sweet and so like endearing. The representation was adorable. I feel like they portrayed like the emotions of your upbringing and coming of age really well. And just the characters and their interactions and the gestures they did for each other, I just thought it was so sweet and so adorable. So this book definitely made me happy. 
and yeah i still have to read the second one but the first one for sure is something that just made me so happy and feel so like so cute i freaking oh it was adorable question number 12 is favorite book to film adaptation that you've seen this year i have not seen any film adaptations for many books i don't really watch a lot of tv if i do i'll watch like some movies every like here and there but a lot of times i'll watch like psychological thrillers or documentaries or a lot of times they're just playing something for my daughter so i don't really watch tv um i should though because i feel like tv culture is such a huge thing and so many people have so much things to say about tv but i cannot answer that unfortunately i can't even really change that question into something else but i guess i can change it to a book that I would like adapted to a, t a movie or a TV and I would want to have Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan adapted to a movie but I'd be really picky about who they choose as the characters because I feel like that would be that's a huge part of it that's like one of the huge things I really liked about that book was the characters and their interactions with one, uh, one another but unfortunately I don't have any movies I've watched recently that were adapted from a book um, I know there's a lot of them coming out, but I haven't seen any yet, so... Plus, it's kind of hard for me because I'm the type of person, when I read a book, I don't really ideally like to reach out to the movies because sometimes I have like a picture of what the characters are like and how they are in my head, so when I watch the movies, I just cannot... It just, it just disappoints me a little bit sometimes because I just have a certain image in my head and it kind of ruins it for me. So that's also kind of why I don't really watch a lot of the movies and films that come out based on books. Question at number 13 is the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. Okay, so a lot of people might have a bunch of like intricate like owl crate books or fairy loot books. I am broke, so I don't really, you know, have those type of beautiful books, but a book that I did buy that was really beautiful is um the dust jacket is gorgeous and it's a magic steep in poison by judy eileen and i just thought this cover is absolutely gorgeous and s same with the second cover the second book um a dragon's promise i think that one is also really beautiful as well but i think oh wait no that's six crimson cranes never mind scratch that but those covers are really pretty but i don't own those but yeah this one was really really gorgeous also like everything about it was gorgeous um, and then even the inside, it's not really much, but if you look, there's like a tiny little koi fish right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. And I think that little detail is so cute. And then, yeah, nothing really special about the actual book, but the desk cover was absolutely gorgeous to me. And it's like one of those that I want to like put on display. So I definitely recommend it. Plus it kind of goes with my outfit. Okay. So last question. I like this tag. It was really short. It was really short and really simple. Question 14. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? And as I watched these videos, a lot of people said pretty much everything. And yes, I agree. There's a lot I need to read, but some of them I can think of the top of my head are obviously the ones I have on my bookshelf, like my TBR. I want to read tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I feel like that's a book I've been wanting to read for a while. I really want to I want to get into the Raven Boys series. I feel like that was one I have heard about and had people talk about um also also i really want to get into the caraval series as well as once upon a broken heart and a ballad of never after never after those are books i for sure want to get for sure done this year um but yeah there's just so many books that i want to get done my tbr list is endless and if anything i'm always adding to it and for sure it's going to be the books that i also have on my bookshelf like the books i got on my book haul but those are the books I for sure want to dock off on the, my list for the end of the year. Okay, and that was it for this book tag. I actually was kind of debating about doing this book tag because I didn't really have a lot of answers for a lot of these or like a good amount. But I was like, you know what? I still want to check in. I still feel like regardless of whatever my answers are, it's still interesting to hear about other people's answers and I still want to share mine. So yeah, I didn't want to have the FOMO of not doing the book tag. And I honestly feel like it really made me think about what I wanted to answer. So I had fun doing the book tag. And regardless or not, it really made me think about, you know, just the types of books I'm and the check-in I have in the middle of the year so far, which is telling me that I need to read even more books because I need a larger list choose from i do feel like i've been reading consistently but i haven't been reading abundantly 
which I know that's not really what you have to do, but I have been wanting to read more. That was one of my goals for this year to read more. So I do want to reach out a little bit more for more books. So yeah, I'm going to try to make books a little bit more of a high priority this year. But so far, I'm liking my reading journey so far. I feel like I've had more positive ones than duds. I do have to say there was a few duds here and there throughout the throughout the year but so far I'm loving my reading journey at this moment and I feel like it's at a comfortable pace and I'm also enjoying the books I found like I found some series that I'm absolutely loving and yeah I just feel like it's a new journey and one day I'm gonna look back at this tag and compare to how different it's gonna be so I'm excited that I did this book tag I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are interested you guys should do the book tag as well and I will see you guys on the next video bye